Yo, what's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be discussing the Airstrike rocket launcher. That's right, guys, the Airstrike. And I'm going to tell you guys, it is one of the best rocket launchers in the game, arguably, just simply because, in my opinion, it is a direct side grade to the stock rocket launcher, meaning it is one of the best rocket launchers in the game, in my opinion. Just for, just the amount of mobility it gives the soldier, the amount of rockets you can shoot at the same time, the amount of enemies you can mow down or rain down rockets on people, and I'll just discuss why it was horrible before and after the gunmetal update, I believe, when it was changed. Now, before the gunmetal update, before it was changed, the attack speed it increases while you're blast jumping. Yes, that's just how it is now. The clip size is increased on kill as it is now. A minus 25% damage penalty, a minus 25% clip size penalty, and a minus 15% explosion radius. Now, when you're rocket jumping, guys, and you have the, uh, not the gunboats equipped, the base jumper, you're going to take a lot of damage from rocket jumps to yourself let alone when you're trying to damage enemies. So you're going to be rocket jumping up and already on low HP. So I can't really demonstrate it in these clips here because they changed it when I'm recording the time of recording this video. So I can't really demonstrate it. But you have to see, like just compare the stats with numbers and all that like an actual accountant. Now let's compare the stats with now. The airstrike fit minus 15% um, minus blast damage from rocket jumps, increases attack speed while blast jumping, clip size increased on kill, and the only two downsides to this rocket launcher at the moment, to date, is minus 15% damage penalty and a minus 10% explosion radius. You contrast that to the minus 15% explosion radius. 5% difference, but that 5% difference can be the difference between killing someone, just shooting at their feet or right near them, to missing and then they air shot you and you die yourself. So, it depends how you look at it. And the minus damage penalty from 15%, sorry, from 25% to 15%, I'm not really good with the numbers here because I'm just going off the top of my head here, and that's a minus 10% difference from 25% damage penalty to 15 That is huge, guys. You know, you can, now with all these rockets, especially after they've changed, you're not going to take as much damage to yourself when you rocket jump, but you're still dishing out all this damage on the enemy team which does not apply to that you're not going to do less damage like before with the 25% as well as hurting yourself a lot more but not only will you just mow down the enemy team you'll be in the air a lot longer as long as you're not on low HP as it is now with a minus 15% blast damage from rocket jumps now that is just I just can't believe that they've actually done that like they, they've made this gun rocket launcher sorry just something incredible like that's why it's a side grade to the normal rocket launcher and I even see competitive players using this in in high level game in high level Highlander games and whatnot just simply because it is just a reliable weapon to just take out sentries their pyro his most thing to kill soldiers or just to dish out damage to air blast people into cliffs and whatnot is just not in, non-existent with this rocket launcher because you're going to be spraying seven or eight rockets down on him he will maybe reflect one or two and then by that time he will already be dead along with the engineer's sentry because the engineer will not be able to swing as fast even with the jag at the moment the engineer will not be able to swing as fast to keep his sentry alive while spraying down eight rockets or seven down on the sentry it's just you can't do it I've tried I've even tested it out you won't see here but I've tested it out with friends a level 3 sentry on a airstrike rocket launcher from a distance just spraying down seven or eight rockets on the sentry I was just holding down that left click to try and you know just swing at the sentry but it just did not do anything because I'm not gonna swing that fast you know I just it's just insane this weapon I just love it so much like it just rewards you for killing people, you know? It's like the Islander, you move faster. In this one here, you get more rockets in your clip size, and that just rewards you even more so, because you can rocket jump up. Not only will you move from eight rockets down to seven, but you're reloading in the air and spraying down. Even, picture, picture a payload cart full of heavies and whatnot, you know, and has scouts and pushing the cart on, you know, just trying to push it on the last final point and upward, and you're spraying down all these rockets on them, and they blow up. What a feeling is that? That is just a great feeling because you save the day with the rocket launcher. You won't be able to do that with any other rocket launcher because you're not going to be spraying down as many rockets at the same time. You're not going to be spraying eight rockets down with, like, let's say, the Liberty Launcher because that's not what it does. The 
airstrike is that that's its that's its primary thing that it does is just getting all those rockets down I'm sorry if I'm just not making much sense here but I'm just throwing all these ideas out just to you guys so you can actually try this weapon out for yourselves and just destroy the enemy team like just it's insane I just seriously love this weapon and one more tip before I go guys do not hold left click when you have seven or eight rockets in your ammunition trust me I've done it before I don't know what's happened in these clips I've done really well for some reason by holding it down but um that is like one out of like ten so please understand that it's not really likely that you'll kill all these people like that but um just keep tapping because you're gonna it's the fire rate is increased while you're floating in the air anyway so it's all good there if you spray down your rockets you have to be really really good at aiming like I'm not really good at aiming so I have to keep tapping I'm, I'm teaching myself to keep tapping unless you're shooting at a stationary sentry because sentries do not move up to date till when I'm making this video so again do not spray rockets down, that's all you need to know, just keep tapping while you're in the air and then you'll hit your enemies and then they'll already be dead. So by the time that happens, you'll be able to rocket jump away and go on to your next victim. And please do not forget to comment down below your opinions on the airstrike from before to now. Is it good or is it still bad? I hope to see you on the next one and bye bye for now.